Indian stars, these are, they're predominantly very shy tortoises in comparison to like Mediterranean species. Ah, oh, I like them. Their pattern is beautiful. They're a, a, a talking piece, but they're predominantly predisposed to pyramiding. It's pretty tough to get their humidity correct. Um, their size wise is very neat. Like they're so small, but they're large vertically almost, so to speak. Rather shy, like I find these ones, they're, they're shelled up rather often, not exposed. I'm not sure if that's due to their in, environment. Um, I wish I, I knew more about them, but uh, I recently brought in this male. Um, and I'm hoping to progress their diet, offer a, a little bit of a gentle beak trim here soon. If you want to watch the video on how to. Um, their diet is predominantly grass and hay, hay being dried out grass. Uh, you can mix in some weeds, but they shouldn't be eating fruit. They shouldn't be eating vegetables. They shouldn't be eating, of course, not meats or anything like that, like a red foot. Um, space, they don't seem to use a whole ton of it. Um, this one wanting to hang out either underneath the lamp or on, in its clay pot there. But uh, I've got this one in what I would call temporary quarantine setup before I expand it into a six by three as I shift things around here. Um, been really happy to have this tortoise here in my care. It's absolutely beautiful. We're leaning to the name of Stuart as it's a male. You can tell it's a male. Uh, due to its giant hooking, hooking tail, it's concave belly side there. Plastron. A little bit of pyramiding, but not horrible for the species. It doesn't really flare out much. A little bit at the hips there. It's flaring out a little bit with the idea of it being a male, but it's giant tail. Always tells you male, as well as that anal skewts, how it just hangs over and protects the male bits from other males mounting. Um... It's just one of them things. I find them to be a little bit snake-like in appearance with their eyes being a little bit slanted and sharper um, as a species, as well as uh, I just find them very, very uh, low energy in comparison to like Hermans or Russians or even Redfoots. I find these ones are more prone to just be hanging out. This one's a good eater. It cleaned up its plate. As you can see there, there's absolutely nothing left of uh, the dried mallow that I rely on so heavily for the majority of my Taurus's diets. But uh, absolutely a stunning, stunning specimen. Put old Stuart back down there. But I think that shell pattern is absolutely magnificent. I look forward to having this Taurus for years to come.